Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dates coming back at you with another video. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you subscribing. Dr. Dix on, um, excuse me, Dr. Dix on YouTube, King of Automation on Instagram, and King of Automation on, on TikTok. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this one. PPP, um, scam, PPP loan people and scammers, you really thought you got away with it. As we all know, the pandemic happened about four years ago, and the Biden administration and the Trump administration sent out PPP loans to help people stay afloat if they had a company. Some people did not even have a company and filed false paperwork, and you did it through a computer system, and it was automatically uh, approved because of the severe crisis we had going on in the world, going on in the world. So we had millions of people just creating fake businesses, two and three employees saying, I'm gonna get a $15,000, etc." What I want people to think about, remember this, companies were willing to pay 20 and $25 an hour during the pandemic because they couldn't even find people to work. You didn't have to worry about going to sit in a restaurant. They needed people to come in and cook food or serve or do takeout orders. So if you do the math, you actually could have made that money legally, but that's a whole nother case. Many people filed these false um, PPP loan applications, got their cousin or their family member that knew somebody at the bank and said, yeah, cuz, we gonna do $30,000, you gonna get back 30, and you gonna give me 2,500 for doing it. Not knowing that left them 28 something thousand, I'm not doing the math while I'm driving, 28 something thousand or 27 thousand in, in money. Not knowing the, but the money went into the bank account and tied to the social security number of the people that, the person that actually received the money. So when the feds come to get you for wire fraud, uh, tax fraud, um, all other federal crimes, the money is tied to your bank account. And the person that you knew at the bank won't even get charged with anything. That's one aspect of it. Now we have scammers, people out here doing gift card scams, which I'm still trying to figure out how they're doing this and people that order the actual credit card machines from China, and they actually print their own credit cards and own debit cards with other people's information. What I want y'all two types of people in this video, one, two, unos dos, speaking in Spanish to y'all, two types of people to realize is, your days are numbered. I've talked about other criminals, but I wanted to focus on scammers and PPP loan people, uh, I guess you could call defrauders or whatever. Both of your crimes are primarily done with the aid of computer systems and automation. Just as the technology, um, uh, what's the word, confirms the amounts and gives you access to people's bank accounts, it will ultimately put you in jail. And when it puts you in jail, we don't wanna hear you say, man, the folks out there, man, they being racist, cause you know, man, they're making it hard for a player and a pimp out here to live. You are committing wire fraud, tax fraud, and other federal crimes, and identity theft. Because um, a lot of y'all out here, I ain't came for y'all yet, that do this uh, credit repair, telling people to file false police reports. Yeah, I'm coming for y'all too. Telling people to file false police reports to get their credit score from 550 to 750 for about six months so they can go buy a house and a BMW or Audi that you know they can't afford, and they're gonna get a repo anyway because they don't even make the money to take care of the house and the repo. If you was broke before the pandemic, unless you had the skill set, you was broke after the pandemic. We gotta stop giving people hope out here that we know was bums before and now they bums afterwards. Whole different conversation. But again, to the PPP loan people and to the people out there that are scammers, this technology compares tax returns. What I want y'all to also think about, remember the Biden administration wanna hire all those IRS agents? They didn't say if some of those agents were going to be physical or digital. When you file your taxes, how do y'all think they can see like the last year do a comparison? They use artificial intelligence. And when artificial intelligence does the comparison, it can flag that, flag your social security number to check against all of them and manually forward it to a IRS agent to do a review. People, y'all really don't know how the technological world we're living in now is going to make it impossible to break and commit crimes. People are out here thinking they're still going to be able to defraud people. They're out here thinking um, they're going to be able to get over. You got YouTube people out here that have been caught in scams. You got TikTokers that have been caught out here in scams. What I want y'all to understand is if you got dumb people giving you dumb directions, you will end up being another dumb person. If you ever watch, if y'all ever watch the Boondocks, it's the skit with um, Charlie um, Murphy 
and Samuel L. Jackson, Remy, and um, I can't think of the two names of them because I watch it a lot. Man, it's on the tip of my tongue. But Charlie Murphy and uh, Samuel L. Jackson have a dialogue, and they threw out the whole series talking about dumb technology. So Samuel L. Jackson says to him, he said, uh, this type of tech, this ninja technology and technology is for one dumb ninja to talk to another dumb ninja about dumb ninja stuff. That's the same principle. And I'm just keeping it 100. We all know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep it 100 with people. You got dumb people out here telling you to do dumb things with technology, not realizing when you get caught up and they do the subpoena and they go through all the camera systems and say, hey, you walked in the bank, you gave the application. We got you on camera getting the cashier's check for $75,000. Well, my friend in the car, no, you can't snitch on here. You can't first 48 this one. This is reality. Y'all scammers out there. Y'all don't understand. Every time you swipe that card, it makes a actual record of it. And they can tie the card swipe to a camera system. All the feds got to do is ask for a subpoena for that company to say, hey, for instance, I'll use myself. We knew Patrick had a credit card with a fake number. He over here in Texas, he over here in Florida. All they gotta do, if you say that wasn't me, they say, we got your face on camera and we got you getting money out of the ATM. What you gonna do about that? That's why I tell folks, you will not be able to get away with crimes like you used to. Scammers, PPP loan defrauders, I got other folks I'm gonna go after too. You can't do it anymore. There are cameras everywhere. Every intersection has cameras. Every street corner has cameras. And these are your 4K cameras that many of these cities have. I admit they used to have those little small PTZ. When I say PTZ, that means pan, tilt, zoom. They used to have those small cameras. They got cameras now with 4K technology that can zoom in and do facial recognition to say that was you at that individual place. You can't get around it. You wanna know how you avoid all this? You be an honest person. You try not to defraud people. You do things the right way. I know it's hard to do things the right way in life, but it's the best way to where you don't have to look over your shoulder. And I use the examples, the examples, the examples seven times of talking about people I knew when I grew up that try to sell drugs to cheat the game. Now, not only are you a convicted felon, you got to pay restitution and you still don't have any um, qualification. You got three whammies against you. It's hard enough having education make it in their life. But when they run your social security number and they say you're a convicted felon, you haven't done anything or you're trying to scam people, it puts you in the rears. So what I want people to understand is PPP loan people, scammers, your day is a number. If I were you and I did those kind of uh, wire fraud and um, identity theft crimes and, you know, and all the other stuff, trying to get your credit report fixed, I, if I were y'all, um, police agencies and the alphabet agencies, as we call it, are going to be investigating people. Your time is coming and you reap what you sow, as they say. So you want to know how you avoid this? Play the game of life by the correct rules. So again, this is Dr. Patrick Dix and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.